Okay, well, we've been seeing some people have been uh, trying to melt some snow um, with butane lighters, and they've been seeing some soot on it, and uh, they've been seeing the, the snow kind of more vaporized. They've called it rather than uh, seeing it, uh, you know, just melt. Well, some of it's just it, the right factors to have the uh, ice sublimate, and then they're seeing this black residue on it, and saying it's plastic snow or something like that, and. Um, what we do is what we're getting is uh, we're seeing some soot from the butane in the lighter. We have uh, the incomplete combustion of the butane, and um, especially we're holding up to ice. So we'll see if we can go ahead and, and duplicate that here. This isn't a real strong lighter here. I may have to try a different one um, to uh, get the uh, soot in there. You can definitely smell it, the uh, smell that the people are talking about there with it. Um, and I'm not quite seeing it on here. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and get a different lighter. All right, so um, I've got a different lighter here. We're going to give this a try again. This just opened out of the package. This is a butane lighter from the dollar store. And I don't know if you can see that on the camera here, but we are getting that black soot. Look at my plate here. The plastic snow. So, that is butane um, isn't 100% clean burning like any fuel. There's going to be some byproducts and uh, hydrocarbons, and you know, they burn off, and then you have soot that's left. Um, and a lot of that gets dispensed into the air, um, and you breathe it. But uh, in this case, we're aiming the flame directly at something. And we see that soot on this, what was a clean plate, we see that little bit of soot residue uh, sitting down there on the plate. I'll go ahead and grab some snow um, from here in Wisconsin, and we'll do that again with that. So I'm going to pause this. So now we have uh, the tin plate over there. You can see the soot on that. And we just grab some um, snow here. Whatever I think most people did, they're grabbing it. They just grab a little ball of it. Now some areas, they may have some, had some heavier wetter snow and it was uh, real good packing snow if you're from a colder climate and you made snowmen ever you you know you sometimes have those light fluffy snows and then sometimes you have those snows where you're like oh it's a good good heavy packing snow or or also as we'd like to call it what a pain in the neck you, know, you have to go and shovel the stuff because the snowblower won't move it so um we have this packed up a little bit this is fairly heavy so let's try this this looks like good clean snow and we'll see if we can get this lighter going again. And if you notice, if you have a lighter that has an adjustable flame, if you make the flame a little bit longer, um, you'll notice a little bit of uh, soot coming off just as it burns. And as we interrupt that burning process by putting it up, you know, interrupting the flame here, um, then it doesn't burn as cleanly as it otherwise would. So we have more soot that was um, uh, occurring because it's not a clean burning flame. And uh, it's real easy to see that on here. And uh, we probably have the conditions about right here where we are, um, we have some of the sublimating and it is going right off into a gaseous state. Um, and instead of, instead of uh, having it, we have maybe a little water that's accumulating on the plate here and uh, some of that's sublimating off. So this is probably the exact effect that people are seeing that makes them think that this is some kind of um, plastic chemical laden snow. And um, I'm sure if we ran this through gas uh, chromatography, we'd see that there are um, some traces of various hundreds, thousands of various chemicals that are in our environment every day. But um, nothing makes me uh, believe that this is anything other than plain old snow. Now let me take some of this. It's a little less packed. It's closer to fluffier snow. And aim it at this. And uh, we'll see that this is... This less packed snow is melting a little bit more easily. We're getting a little bit of water over here to the side, and um, just because of the uh, the spacing there not being as dense, it uh, is easier for this to actually end up just melting away uh, rather than sublimating. Though this overall is pretty dense snow, so it's um, you know a little closer to uh, tending towards the side of things of sublimating than it is. Uh, 
uh, to just melting on the plate. But you can see we have a little water here now that's occurring on the plate. And this is that clean snow. You can see just like we had on the plate with my clean ice. This is a clean plate out of the, uh, with ice cubes out of my freezer. Um, and uh, you saw it before when we started and it was nice and clean. And just like this, this is the nice clean snow. And um, now we have it there. And you can now understand, have a little bit of an idea of why we have uh, people thinking that we have a, uh, a plastic uh, melting effect to the, uh, to the snow. But it certainly appears to be just like regular old snow to me.